welcome back to my channel yes gifty as charged i have been missing in action but i am back with some more tasty meals so what we're going to be preparing today is actually the easiest meal to prepare but it is the taste that matters and that is mashed potatoes so our ingredients for the day are uh, potatoes already peeled potatoes we have cooking cream that will actually just smooth the, the potatoes at the end when we are smashing them we have salt to taste and we have butter what we are going to do with the butter i will show you later we have two red onions and i have three cloves of garlic what i'll do with the cloves of garlic is when i'm boiling my potatoes i will actually boil them together with the garlic for the taste it's only for the taste if you don't like it you don't have to do it if you like it then well it's okay because you can actually put other spices like mint rosemary but i just prefer the garlic so let's transfer our potatoes and there is a certain way i like my potatoes like cut in this shape i hope i'm not weird so we are going to boil our potatoes they should be looking like this longer and thinner see when you remove them they're really nice they're just long and thin they should be really thin not thick we are back our potatoes are ready and i do like smashing mine in a bowl than in a saucepan or a sufuria so let's smash our potatoes they are really nice and easy and when we are smashing our potatoes, what we are going to do is actually pour in some cooking cream. So some cooking cream, not all of it. Then smash. It's really looking nice. And the garlic, the cloves, I already removed them. I'm not going to smash them together with the potatoes. looking really really nice there are people who stop at this point but for us we are not going to stop at this point because we have to add in the onions so more of cooking cream i just want it a little bit just to smooth it we want it nice and smooth Okay, I think we are at a point where we can do our onions. So this is the part I was telling you guys about. See, it's creamy. It will be creamy. And when we put our onions, it will be even more creamy and tastier. So at this point is where people actually add uh, garlic powder, coriander powder, any kind of spice you would like to spice up your to my, your potato. But for me, it's only the one that the cloves that I actually boiled the potatoes with. That is the only thing I'll be using. So at this point, we are going to set our potatoes aside, and then we have a clean saucepan or a sufuria. So we are going to 
light up the fire and the next thing we are going to do is take a spoon so these are like three tablespoons of butter we are going to melt in the saucepan once it's dry our sufuria is hot we'll put in the butter you have to nicely melt the butter and put our own And I said there are like three tablespoons of butter. So we will wait for our butter. You can actually pour the butter in if you don't want in the mashed potatoes and mix it together if you don't want to use the onions. But because I'm using the onions, that's why I have to melt the butter here in the saucepan and then pour in my chicken bowl. So that is good and set on. Let's put in our chicken bowl. You can actually separate the chicken bowl when you're dipping it in. Just for easy. So we let our kitungu cook and because my butter is unsalted butter, I am going to add some salt into it. Then let's give it time for the kitungu to actually cook. It's not supposed to turn like brown brown, but it should be easy to be felt inside the mashed potatoes because you really need to feel the kitungu. It's just the same like cooking mokimo. You want to feel the kitungu, you don't want it like dissolved completely. sometime our kitungu is ready so what we do is dig a hole inside our potatoes and then we will take our kitungu we don't want our butter to actually just melt and everything will stick in the sukuria so we'll dip it to our side and then we will continue mashing so now is the time to spread it out you actually spread it out in circular motion so that the kitungu can go everywhere not only in one place and you keep on smashing mashing smashing what is a better word in english is it smashing or mashing <laughs> my evil mind i do actually find it very easy to smash everything inside the bowl than a super so what I did say is actually if you do not have cooking cream or whipping cream, you can actually use milk. Just make sure it's a little bit boiled. So yeah. So your kitungu has to be nice and soft. You see, you actually see it through the mash. It should be like that. It should not be really crushed. And you can serve this with anything that you feel like. I prefer serving it with beef stew or chicken stew or steak, barbecue, anything you feel. It's very easy. And what we are going to do now is take a little bit of this. Yeah. You can feel the butter, you can feel the onions, and you can feel the cream. But it needs a bit of salt, so I'm going to add just a little bit of salt. Actually, not salt. So we keep on smashing until we get the end results that we need and we need to spread the kitungu like everywhere so guys i think we are good this is the result of what we are having right now we are having everything and actually you guys if i can just zoom in a little bit you can see the kitungus and it's creamy and very soft you need to smash it to be really 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 soft you can see it's even falling off the nickel i don't think i am going to continue anymore what i'll do 
I'll serve in my little bowl. And here guys, so this is the end result of what I'm telling you. Mashed potato is the easiest food that you can make. But what counts is the taste. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for staying with me. Asante Sana for the support. And I'll be back with more videos. Asante Sana.